chose this place because it is outside both of our jurisdictions. Do you want tea? Inspector, I responded to your invitation because I want us to understand each other. I'm a businessman. I want to make my business successful. And I want my city run peacefully. Well, if the city is peaceful, business can thrive. So we are on the same side. I think perhaps we could be. Night. How can we be on the same side when I see things like this? My men found this in the bedroom of a known communist. It has your sister's name on it. It was obvious she'd been sleeping in his bed. Are you also in bed with the communists? Mr. Shelby. I do not share their fantasy. And as for my sister, I've already dealt with the situation. Freddie Thorne is at the very top of my list. I'll cross him off. He won't be returning to the city. I'll make him part of our deal. What deal? You and your specials will leave my businesses alone from now on. No more raids into our territory. No more smashing up pubs. No more lifting my runners. You will turn a blind eye to all of my gambling operations. Also, I am planning an expansion onto the racetracks. I intend to do business with Billy Kimber. He runs most of the legal trackside betting outside of London. He has policemen on his payroll. I want you to put in a word with the Chief Inspector of Gloucestershire that his men should leave me alone when I make my move. Forgive me, I don't seem to have a pen to write down this rather long list of demands. And what do I get in return? I have what you're looking for. I have the guns. What guns? I know to play games. Wait, wait. Twenty-five loose machine guns, fifty carbines, ten thousand rounds of ammunition, all in a crate bound for Libya, stolen from the BSA factory proofing bay. I'm guessing they sent you to Birmingham to get those guns back. Well, to me that hasn't. I have left word with men I trust that if I am taken into police custody for whatever reason, those guns will be shipped to Liverpool. From there, they will be sent directly to Belfast and sold to the Irish Republican Army. All your good work in Ireland will be undone. Each stolen weapon is numbered and marked. If I sell them to the IRA, it won't be long before Mr. Churchill finds out. I imagine you got into enough trouble over the burning of the King's photographs. That was just a taster. If those guns reach Belfast, your life in the force is over. When I've achieved what I've set out to achieve, I will let you know where to find the guns. You'll be a hero. You'll probably get a medal. I'm a fair man. It's a fair offer. Do we have a deal? I need an answer. Right now. Very well. But I'd prefer if we don't shake hands on it. Now, why would I shake the hand of a man who didn't even fight for his country? <laughs>